It's been a while since we had one of these regular ones. Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of January 27th, 22. Alex, episode 105? Correct. Yes. In the triple digits now. We're almost getting good at this. I promise. We'll almost. do it soon. Almost. Almost. I am, of course, joined today with me, Alex. As always, how are you? I am well. I was about to say some random stupid shit, but I was like, you know what? I lost it, and I'm just going to keep going. Perfect. That's, yeah. uh, that's the type of quality we bring to the table. We go to say something funny, and we don't. Yeah, I, was, I think I was going to say my fellow Kryptonians or Kandorians. <laughs> or for, it's some, some dumb thing. And I was like, never. Keep going. <laughs> Stop. Stop the show. <laughs> That's how my mind was <laughs> a second ago. Achievers, we're coming to you very early. I would mm-hmm. say we should be coming to you at night. So we might get a different energy going. We don't know. But uh, I feel pretty good, Alex. Yeah. I hope you feel good, too. Uh, yeah. Right before actually, we... I'm actually not half asleep. Yeah, well, yeah, we're not like over here yawning because it's like 1 a.m. our time trying to get an episode out. So, aside you from say that, that, I almost yawned. I, I had to hold. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. You're right there. Like, oh, he said yawn. Really quick, before I ask my question, Alex, I want to remind the audience you can, of course, support us in a variety of ways. The free ways. Let's start with that. You can go over to the youtube.com slash You can give a subscription if you want to. Hit the notification bell. That's actually going to tell you when we upload. You can also like, comment, subscribe this video right now liking helps tell other people to watch the video subscribing is gonna get you all of our videos easily to your feed and also commenting is one of the strongest things you can do to the algorithm that shows quote unquote engagement so you can do that for us if you don't mind if you're listening to a podcast service right now don't worry you don't have to do the youtube stuff if you want to but you can at least give us a five star review on whatever you're listening to spotify now does five star reviews so you can go on spotify uh apple podcasts still do that um basically whatever you're listening to should now always let you five star review anything so please do that for us if you want to support us financially remember patreon.com slash achievers go read the tiers you can engage with us there ask direct questions to us Get on to the show, et cetera, et cetera. Alex. I've been having an idea, oh. quick thing for oh. these. Uh, we are on Patreon, and I'm thinking for Patreon exclusive people, I'm thinking of an idea of a post show. Let me know mm. on the down below what you guys think of that. That would, sounds kind of fun, like a post show. Maybe even, I don't know. Just a, we little, were bit, doing, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit extra. A peek behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen. We were doing exclusives there. Mm-hmm. If you want more exclusive content, we could do that as well. Yeah. Um, but it didn't seem particularly people cared about the exclusive stuff, so we stopped mm-hmm. doing it. But we if just you always ever talk, an exclusive we, show. We can do that too. We just always talk random stuff right after the show, and we're like, oh, we're we always do. thinking, it's like, hey, we should have recorded that. That was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, we do do. That and maybe we can use that. Well, yeah, we definitely could. Let us know, achievers. Let aside f- know. aside from that, Alex, I like asking one singular question every, at the beginning of every single Easy Achievers podcast. That one question is, mm. what have you been playing? So, as it's been you quite know, a while since I've asked you that question. Yes, for sure. Uh, as you know, I've had a big backlog. Yes. So uh, I've gone back to a couple games. Hmm. What to begin? Where to Where begin? begin? Let's Google with what I'm playing right now. Yeah, let's do that. I went back to Near Automata. Now that might it's... be. I, I think some achievers are like, what? <laughs> like, because yeah. that is very random. Uh, it, that, yeah, it is a five-year-old game. Yes. Yeah. I had never played it. I, I played the demo, thought it was interesting, just never picked it up. So, uh, but I was just like, you know, I see it there. And in our previous episode, we had our special guest, Emmett Watkins Jr. Mm. We talked about this game and it made me intrigued. So I was like, you know what? It's here. Let's give it a try. Oh boy. I've been hooked. Yes. I had actually started this game three times. I'm also playing this game. Um, and every time I kind of just stopped playing it. I, and I was telling Alex when we first started playing this, I didn't I have a good reason. I don't have a good reason why I stopped playing it. I just stopped and usually went to something else because I just wasn't feeling this particular style of game. But mm-hmm. for some reason, this time is a lot more fun. I'm having much, much more of a enjoyable time experimenting with the game, playing with the mm. chips, which are kind of like your skills in the game. You're very limited, which is kind of fun. Um, mm-hmm. I think that kind of controls how strong you can be uh, to mm-hmm. keep the difficulty at a certain level. Uh, and this is this reminds me a lot of um, 
Devil May Cry, Metal Gear. I mean, a lot of things kind of you could tell are just. I got this Final game. Fantasy and Metal Gear like like mix straight yeah, off the bat. Definitely, yeah. You you see a lot of stuff like that in this game, and mm. and I can tell Alex is already at the Alex. You are on playthrough two, so there's multiple playthroughs Correct. you do this game uh, under different circumstances. I won't spoil what or what mm-hmm. happens or anything, but he's on playthrough two. I'm on playthrough one still. Mm-hmm. I am at Alex has already seen the craziness. I am at the point where I'm like the craziness is about to burst open, and I know it yeah. will ed- eventually. Alex is mm-hmm. in mid middle crazy town. I am mm-hmm. nearly at the gates, so I can't wait to see the craziness because this seems like it's gonna be a fun crazy. Like a wow, that that's it, wild. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I can't wait. I can't wait for that. Um, it's like how you guessed when I was we were playing tales, and you're like, oh, so you fight that thing. E- Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I, I guessed the ending because Tails is very anime and it very much wears it on its sleeve. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really quickly, Alex. If you want to know about that, we have a, do have a spoiler cast. We do that. have a spoiler You're cast. On Easy it, was very, it was very fun. Um, Alex, you want to hmm. share a little bit of your thoughts and also, um, th- I said my piece, so share your thoughts with the game and uh, tell me what else you've been playing. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I have... Um... Like you said, I've been I've beat my first playthrough. I um on halfway through my second playthrough, I am enjoying it. I I want to do everything, but I'm like I don't know if I should do everything because I was like I don't know how much time I have. I only have literally a day left until yeah. Pokemon. Ach- yeah, so achievers, this is uh, November twenty seventh as of recording. So we have a day before we go try out Pokemon Legends. Speaking of which, quickly, one of the rapid fire will get out of the way right now. Pokemon Legends reviews are out now. You can go look at them, go check it out, see if you want to buy the game or if you want to wait for a sale. I don't think it will really go on sale because the sale games don't really do that, but go check them out, see if you want it. I, Me and Alex have already stamped that we're playing this game. We will have thoughts next week. But yeah, no, this game is really fun. Um, I It's crazy because every backlog game I've played so far, I've played th- uh, three to four backlog games, and I've enjoyed every single one. Uh, yep. The next one that I had just previously beaten was The Forgotten City. Yes, so that, this that was, was really an good. Emmett Watkins Jr. recommendation. Another the one. Forgotten <laughs> City. So he had recommended it to me, and I was like, fine, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try, because I had always wanted to. I think it was even downloaded on my system. So like it was mm-hmm. like it was something I wanted to play. I just never did. Yeah. And I played it, and boy, was I not expecting any of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was yeah, a really it cool was, game. It was really cool. I could. It, it was really cool because when you start the game, Alex, I have no idea where it's going, which is really. I fun. thought it it's, was. I thought it was a more of a. Just like there's a specific thing that I thought this was gonna be, then that, that was not it. Me I, too. And I yeah, this was way better than I, what I thought. I was really happy because. Just what, what we do, Alex. We, of course, mm-hmm. do this podcast, and we're very much in the gaming sphere. We kind of know every game that comes out. This was a very nice kind of, oh, my God, like, I didn't know any of this. Like, yeah, I didn't know what you did. I didn't know who was in the game. I didn't know what it was about. I had zero clue what this game was. And I'm actually really yeah. happy because everyone who's recommended the game have not spoiled a single thing, and that's very impressive. That's good, yeah. Um, and I, and I very much enjoyed my time with it. For sure. I did all the endings. Alex did as well, by the way, if yes. you have played the game. Uh, I won't say anything else, though, because I want everyone to experience what we did. Yep. And you have um, a third one. Yes. I, in between all that, I did play Valhalla. I played the, the uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey crossover. That, that, was, that was fun. And then I, I just recently, uh, Thousand uh, South Park Fractured But Whole. Yes, yes. That, that is a fun game to go back to. Alex's yes. first time playing the game. Th- yes, this was your was first so time. Fun. This was my second. I oh, planned I it on PlayStation, and I'm just playing through it for fun right now. I don't think I'm going to pl- uh, pl- platinum. Jesus, 1,000 on Xbox, but it's a fun play I will go. I will be going to platinum it on PlayStation, just not right now. I I'm going to give it a couple months and yeah. then go back. I was very happy to see you and very much enjoyed this game. Yeah, uh, yeah, I I loved it. It makes it because I was just I don't know why I never played it the first time, but man, it was so much fun, and it makes me want to go watch the show. So I'm thinking about doing a rewatch and watch the new season comes out in February. Second. I think. Yeah, February second. I just saw a trailer yeah. for it. Yeah, trailer, so I'm excited. But, for it. Yeah, been playing a lot of stuff. 
Yes, this has been a slow time this January. It is ending yeah. swiftly. We have Pokemon this, Legends and Uncharted mm-hmm. Collection. Then we are going into Horizon. So no time at all. So as mm-hmm. soon as we, I mean, really tomorrow, it's kind of over until we finish Legends. And then we got to figure out what's going on with Horizon. This, yeah, because the 28th is Pokemon. And then don't forget, we have, are you going to wait or are you going to play this? Life is Strange Remastered. It comes I, out on the first. So yeah, well, I've, I've already purchased this because I bought the Ultimate whatever edition of mm-hmm. True Colors. Uh, I think I might keep it in the back burner for now. For now, um, be only because I don't. I want to play that uninterrupted, and I feel like okay. if I start it, I want because isn't that February twelfth? Am I making the, that up? What the Life Life is strange? Is strange? That's the first. The first. Yeah, yeah. literally in Jesus, already three four days. Oh my god! Oh no! Well, a little more. It's like four. Whatever doesn't matter. Um, so very yeah. soon. Jeez. Okay. Well, yep. and then Dying Light Two is the fourth. Ugh. So that's the problem. Now. That I was like, "There's a problem. Why can't I start that?" That's why. Because I have Dying yeah. Light Two. Dying Light Two. Which everyone's talking about that game because everyone has it right now and they're reviewing it. Mm-hmm. Um. So be prepared. Any day now, I'm sure the embargo is gonna lift on that game. Um. Is there banging on your end of the house? No. Okay. You hear banging? Because I. Mean, well, I know there's, I feel like there was construction in like a house or two down, but like, it sounds like it's coming from you. So it's, it's, it's confusing me. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, no, I, I just, don't know. Anyway, yeah, I was yeah, just, yeah. achievers, if you hear that, just ignore it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry if you hear that. Uh, sorry if it's me. I don't think it's me. I don't, no, I don't, I don't think so. It just, it sounded weird because if it's outside, it's weird how it's picking it up. Yeah. Hey, hey, anyway. Yeah. Sorry, achievers uh, for the aside. But anyways. Um, that yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm trying to iron out some Destiny Two stuff uh, before Witch Queen, which mm. Jesus Christ, this this February is gonna be monstrous. Elden Ring. I mean, we're we're gonna be very busy with spoiler casts and review discussions, things of that sort. So be ready for all that. I cannot wait for Horizon. I cannot wait for all these games. And we're on the pers- uh, precipice. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. Alex, hmm. rumor roundup. Rumor roundup. This was today. I quickly added it right before we got on. Um, a rumored Monster, Hunt, Monster Hunter type game is coming from Xbox. So, quote, uh, this is from Jeff Grubb, which everything comes from Jeff Grubb now. Quote, they're working with certain affinity on what seems like a Monster Hunter style game, a Monster Hunter clone, Grubb said. Uh, quote, they, uh, they see this gameplay style succeeding and Microsoft's like, hey, we should try making one of those. Is anyone out there going to pitch one? End quote. So that's a quick, quick quote that I found from Video Games Chronicle mentioning uh, Jeff Grubb's quote. So I want to quickly throw that in there. Very strange. Um, did not think Xbox would even care about a Monster Hunter type game, but I think they want the co-op aspect more than anything. I think Xbox knows that they want a co-op, a co-op online kind of game. I'm actually really surprised, Alex. We haven't gotten a MMO online games as a service game from any major first party. Uh, uh in mm-hmm. xbox or playstation really uh you could argue yeah. we just got halo infinite which is kind of like that but um, i'm surprised we haven't gotten a destiny xbox or destiny yeah. playstation so yeah, i feel like MMO this might be an really attempt that I, at that the last mmo that i can think of is honestly eso yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's really... yeah, yeah but but I, I but and i guess that's technically first party now so i guess i can't say that anymore because they technically yeah. have an mmo technically now. own it yeah. yeah so anyways Wanted to quickly bring that up. Some more rapid fires. These are actually. Let me. Sorry, I'm still on room roundup. Jeff Go- Jez Gordon did reveal that, according to some of his sources, Gear Six will not be released until 2025 because the coalition is working on a new IP that will release next year. Just a quick note hmm. for everyone. Um, another rumor uh, via Video Games Chronicle, who originally reported that Lucid. The devs behind Destruction All-Stars have ceased development on the Twisted Metal reboot and has moved the project internally into one of PlayStation Studios in Europe, most likely London Studios. Incidentally, London Studios today just announced that they are hiring for a, quote, new PS5 online title, end quote. So I think it's pretty clear Twisted Metal reboot is uh, at London right now. They took it from Lucid, which was making the Destruction All-Stars. I'm assuming they did not like what they were seeing and pulled the plug before it went for too long. Um, happened very fast because they only just got this report out soon. So this happened pretty quickly. 
for them to immediately switch it to London Studios. I'll be curious to see if they're doing any background help with the with the game. Um, assumably not. PlayStation might not, or they might. I don't know. They might have them support uh, London Studios on the title, but we'll have to see. Alex, do you care about Twisted Metal? I never played them. I always thought they were interesting because they look like. I'm, is it a racing game? Like, so it's it... a it's it's kind of like Mario Kart for adults, kind of. So it, like, so you like could say that. so like full auto or death race like type of thing. Blur, yeah. Blur, okay, kind of like that. Was Blur had did Blur have like weapons and stuff? I've never played. Blur, Blur. had like th- weapons, kind of, because you could pick up power ups and use oh. use them, and I think one was a rocket, and you picked it up, and it was like a little colorful colorful rocket. Interesting. Um, huh. Another one. Some old Star Wars 13 to 30 footage was released as a sixth year anniversary to The Vault. Um, it looks, it's definitely um, not done, but if you want to see Boba Fett run through like this market thing, go check mm. it out. Moving on to Quick Fire, Alex. Uh, quick note mm. PlayStation will let you now auto upload screenshots and clips to your PlayStation app uh, on your mobile phone. And there's a quick uh, thing that we did not cover when we were gone. Wolf Among Us 2 had a, uh, from Game Informer, had a interview. And they gave some insights that I wanted to bring up. The game, Wolf Among Us 2, set six months after the original, takes place during winter um, in New York, of course, where the first game takes place. It's in full uh, production, script is finalized, and they are mocapping currently. And Unreal Engine has apparently helped them a lot uh, in making the game. So we're still getting it, shockingly. Shockingly, it's still being made. So we are going to get Wolf Among Us 2 at some point. Are you happy about that? Are you glad that we're getting it? Or do you think it's, uh, it's just like too, it's a little too late? I love Wolf Among Us 1. It's never too late to me because I'll always play a game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But no, for sure. is it too late for it to s- like make an impact? Yeah. Like to get people's attention? Yes. It's been... Yeah. Because there mean, was a it, time where everybody was waiting for the next Telltale game. Yes, and it's, and now it's I gone. think it's yeah, yeah. So yeah, after Walking Dead, I think yeah, everything was like okay, we're done with Telltale. Yeah, for people like me, I don't care when it comes out, but yeah. for them to make money, yeah, it's way too late. But we'll have to see because I want I wanted to come out, but it, <laughs> we'll we'll see, we'll see because that seems like one of those games where it just because that was announced. Years ago, now of course the Telltale situation messed a lot of things up, but I don't know. I I miss it. I want to see the ending. Oh, what, like I want to see. Tr- I definitely play it. I just I it's hard because I don't remember a lot of the first one, and I'm like, do I really want to go back and play Wolf Among Us one? So I guess it depends uh, at the time where they re- announced. It's like, hey, it's coming out this time, so maybe a mu- uh, maybe a couple months before. To yeah. mu- if I feel like it, then I'll play it. Yeah, just do that. Achiever, same to you. If you, if you see the second game, you haven't played or need to replay it, just wait till we get a concrete date. Because we, ne- I want to make sure this game even comes out before I'm like, oh, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> a couple Star Wars EA news, Alex. Well, this is uh going into the actual news story. So we got. A pretty beefy news to come back to, which I'm very excited to talk about, um, mm-hmm. starting with Star Wars and some EA talk. So we have movement inside of EA once again with Star Wars. Respawn, their golden goose, announced new projects surrounding the Star Wars universe. First, they announced that Vince Ampella, the original founder of Respawn, will be overseeing the, and this is a direct quote from them, quote, new phase of EA's relationship with Lucasfilm, end quote. Um, quick sidebar to this. I think that is clear that they have now new terms uh details from if you remember they originally signed the 10-year deal with ea only making star wars games i think it's clear that that not happening did not now work. Does, yeah. did not work and also is probably not happening again yeah. uh but let's get to the games uh we have game director stig asmussen and his team already working on the star wars jedi series of course fallen order 2 was reported on earlier this year we're getting a sequel to that at some point. Um, rumors is it's pretty far along. So when it's announced, it will be soon before release. So that's the rumor. Don't know if I believe it. Uh, second, we have Peter Hirschman, game director at Respawn, working on a Star Wars first-person shooter. Very curious on what that is. Third, mm-hmm. we have a Star Wars strategy game being worked on a newly formed studio called Bit Reactor, helmed by Greg Forstich. 
Respawn will be producing this title alongside Bit Reactor while they develop the game. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, Alex, Bit Reactor are former XCOM devs uh, that um, formed the studio. Yes, former Fire Axes and XCOM devs formed Bit Reactor. So we have a seasoned strategy veterans working mm-hmm. on a Star Wars strategy game. That's pretty exciting. It. They'll probably do really good because a lot of people love XCOM and Civ. Now, Alex, we can take this hmm. a number of ways with this conversation. I just want to quickly uh, re- retell uh, the audience. They have a, at Respawn, they have a Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order game, Star mm-hmm. Wars first-person shooter game, and they are mm-hmm. producing with uh, Bit Reactor a Star Wars strategy game. That is three titles with one studio also working on Apex Legends, by the way. So... Very busy. Um, Apex Legends is going to get less and less updates. Uh, I can we'll see. We'll see. They have a whole studio de- dedicated to that now. So I don't think that mm. that will happen. Okay. But we'll, we'll have to see. Or, or I guess a new team specifically, I guess, is more correct. Mm-hmm. Um, but Alex, three new games. People are saying Respawns is EA's Insomniac. Uh, what do you think about all this? Yeah, it's interesting because, I mean... <sighs> Before uh, Apex, we were like, where's Respawn? Like, you know, last thing we had got was what? Timefall 2? Uh, I mean, if you don't count Apex Legends, of course, Star Wars Shadow yeah, yeah. Order. Oh, well, of course. Uh, I mean, but like, they haven't done much, but like, now they're just bringing a bunch in. I think that, uh, hmm. I guess, yeah, because compared to Insomniac, Insomniac has all the Spider Man's, the new Wolverine game supposed to come out, isn't it? Isn't that by Insomniac? Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank, yeah, so I could see that. I could see that similarity. They're very much, um, I mean, they're very much excited for them, right? I mean, Three- so far they haven't done bad. So, like, with Res- I mean, Respawn, I mean, a- Apex obviously is gold. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody, a lot of people love that. People enjoy Jedi Fallen Order. Yes. It, so, I mean, they enjoyed it way better than Battlefront. <laughs> I'm, I'm, what I'm curious is what the Star Wars FPS game is. <sighs> Is That's it bad that I, I feel know. like it's going to be a Mando game, but it's just first person? Huh. I feel like it's going to be the ideas of 1313, because that's what it looked like, uh, what it was. It looked like it was a Mando game. And I feel like uh, it's so going to take they'll find the inspiration ideas from that. Of the yeah. 1313 thing, maybe? Because mm-hmm. I just I watched footage of the 1313, and it, honestly, it looks like a Star Wars version of Assassin's Creed. Because, like, the way he was moving around, climbing and stuff like that, it looked like even the parkour in that game was a little bit better than certain Assassins. Okay. So, um, so you think they're going to find a lot of inspiration from a title yeah. like that? And I, th- I assume Mandalor- I mean, Mandalorian's pretty big right now, especially with Book of Boba Fett. With Boba Fett, yeah. So, so maybe, think- maybe they'll do some Mandalorian-type game. Yeah. Maybe we'll see the beginning of the Mandalorians. I don't know. Don't know how that works, but maybe we'll see something like know. that. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of. I mean, like, what else is going to be a first person? You're not going to be a first person with a jet with a lightsaber. Do you think they'll um? Because you could either be a bounty. I mean, you could be a reg- a different bounty hunter. Or like, I was about to say, do you think or- they'll go the thirteen thirteen route and try to be a smuggler type situation? Because uh, that's what I was thinking. Maybe like, like a smuggler, some smuggler type guy. So maybe you'll yeah. be some. They'll try to make a Han type game, not Han mm-hmm. Solo, but a Han type person mm-hmm. i, I don't know possible. how it, yeah i yeah i mean it could do that like i said um i wonder how it's gonna work like uh environmental wise because it's first person so i assume it'll be like a single player game yeah maybe I, I they'll so. add some multiplayer if not i rather them just stick with st- single player i'll be cur- i'll be curious if they give them the battlefront well i don't think that's what this is um but I'd be curious to see if they ha- if they, they do like remake similar but i don't think yeah so like for their multiplayer be like hey do something similar to this <laughs> Curious. I don't know. I think they'll stick with the single player. At least I, I think. I think so too. I, I don't. I do not think they said, "Hey, make Battlefront to respawn." Although that sounds cool. <laughs> um, I mean, like, hey, they're really good at online first persons. So. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. I, the strategy game, just quickly. Strategy game. I'm a big strategy guy. That sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. If they make a XCOM Star Wars game, I think that's mm-hmm. pretty. That's pretty. I sick. can definitely see the. Um, I feel like I'll be excited for this FPS one too because the respawn is really good with mobility. So being a smuggler or, like I said, a Mando, you get that jetpack, you can move around yes. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, the Mando one is very, very fun. Sound. Yeah, I could see it happening. 
Activision apparently is releasing the next three Call of Duties on PlayStation, Alex. According to a report from Bloomberg by Jason Schreier, people familiar with the deal stated that there were already plans to bring the next three Call of Duties to PlayStation prior to the Microsoft purchase. Now, if this is true, these titles will be as followed. This year's Call of Duty by Infinity World, quote, Modern Warfare 2. The following year's Call of Duty, which is in development by Treyarch, maybe a Black Ops type game, we don't know. And lastly, there is the, whatever this means, Warzone 2 coming to PlayStation as well. Uh, assuming this is true, PlayStation fans can now ease a little sigh of relief, knowing that for at least mm-hmm. you are getting the next three Call of Duty things to your system. Alex, kind of figured this year's is coming to PlayStation, uh, especially since technically the acquisition wouldn't even be done by that time. Yeah. Next year's, also not too surprised. Warzone 2, I never thought would even not come to PlayStation because I think they're going to keep Warzone as everything. Mm-hmm. Since it is an online game, it will thrive on people playing it. It needs as many people as possible. Yeah. Still a question mark. Now, if you remember, uh, Achievers, if you've seen this on Twitter, Phil Spencer did tweet out a very not an- non-answer answer to if uh, PlayStation or if Call of Duty will be on PlayStation. Alex, while I bring that up, what are your thoughts on all of this? Now, first off, I don't we, see a. Go, go ahead. No, 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 no. I was just gonna say we we it doesn't we don't we didn't really learn anything. I would say no, no. Um, we do. I mean, they just they just pretty much emphasize that yes, don't worry, the games will be coming to PlayStation. Yeah. That's all. That's all this was. It's just to relax people. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like, hey, hey, hey. next relax. three are coming. Next yeah. three are coming. Um, I can see the Modern Warfare Two, uh, remaster the the remaster. I assume, or remake. Would uh, it be a remake? Remake. It, remake. It's so like what they did. Game. Yeah. Okay. It'd be. It's a sequel to Modern Warfare One from 2019. Though, yeah, I gotcha. Um, I could see that one for sure. Um, the Treyarch one. Yeah, I could see. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's gonna be a whole a new IP, not a like a redone of some of Black Ops or. Something I'll be curious like that. too. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's Black Ops. I maybe. I, 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 I hope it's, it's not IP Black Ops Five. I hope yeah. it's just something new. Yeah, it might. It might be Black Ops something because they. Treyarch is always well. Warcraft. Treyarch is always doing. Uh, they they do war war games. Yeah. Viet. They've done Vietnam. Yeah. So I mean, cold, and have they done Cold War? I mean, what else is left? Is it Treyarch know. is we'll not really see. known for going modern because yeah. it's that's taken. We'll see. We'll see. Um, didn't they make Advanced Warfare? Or is it I've Infinite made... Warfare they made? Didn't they make one of those? No, no, Infinite Warfare was by Infinity Ward. Did they make Advanced Warfare? I thought they did. You can you can look that up for me. Yeah, yeah. Um I got but you, I got you. um Keep the up. one that I don't I don't see why it's even a, gonna become a thing is Warzone 2. Um I don't see a reason for that even to be a thing. I mean, I guess it's the same question as, like, for example, for Overwatch versus Overwatch Two. Um, but I can see. Sorry, I was wrong. Sledgehammer, gotcha. I bet. But I can see, I can see Overwatch Two more than I could see a Warzone Two, just because it's wars. Like, what are they gonna do? I think I think Overwatch Two is also dumb. Just just so everyone knows, but I I think that makes more sense than a Warzone. No, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think there's no point for it, but I can I see it. I can see it happening better than this because Warzone Two. What's 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 it gonna do? The menu is just changed a little bit. (laughs) There's a whole new map next to it. (laughs) <laughs> it's, just, it's just a map, uh, like a, uh, it's a different map, which what they did with Pacific. And I think it tells a lot about Activision that this is like, even a thing, by the way. Like, why is what? Why? Why, why is there going to be? A Warzone why would 2? we care about Warzone Two? I, I mean, think that says a lot about Activision's state of mind. Not only with that, Overwatch I feel like 2, they just think, but with now War Warzone Two, what the? I feel fuck like they just that think that it's just like, oh, Warzone is so big, so let's just make a second game. Why? Just think, make your keep your resources I think it just, into this one. I think they just Fix like putting your two game. on stuff and and sell it. Fix your game. <laughs> it is How crazy. about instead of working on Warzone Two, fix the broken ass one on Xbox? I referenced Ugh. a tweet from Phil Spencer. Um, okay. We did not. We were not able to cover this, of course, because it was not 
out yet when we did our emergency Easy Achievers podcast with the one Emmett Watkins Jr., but I wanted to bring this up. On January 20th, Phil Spencer tweets out, quote, Had good calls this week with leaders at Sony. I confirmed our intent to honor all existing agreements upon ac- acquisition of Activision Blizzard and our desire to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation. Sony is an important part of our industry, and we value our relationship, end quote. Now, a lot of people in the industry, I don't necessarily blame them that much, but a lot of people are taking this at face value. I don't know why you would, um, because people say this all the time. Phil even kind of said this with the Bethesda thing, where he was kind of saying it's kind of coming and kind of not at all at the same time and didn't really confirm anything. I want to read this again. Had good calls this week with leaders at Sony. Okay. I confirmed our intent to honor all existing agreements. Okay, makes sense, right? Whatever's already signed, he's not going to back out of. And our desire to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation is the most important thing of this tweet. Had good calls this week with leaders at Sony. I confirmed our intent to honor all existing agreements upon acquisition of Activision Blizzard and our desire to keep all Call of Duty on PlayStation. You need to read into that way more than what a lot of people are. That does not mean we want to keep it all on PlayStation forever. That is a vague enough statement to mean um, we desire to put it on, on PlayStation. All you got to do is let us come to uh, Game Pass, come to it. That's what I, that's, that's why I see that. They want something in return. Oh, for sure. They'll give you Call of Duty. But we want something in yeah, return. The, yeah, Our yeah, desire. Say, let's, that, that, that one we, word. We, we want a song back. <laughs> They never had him in the first place. No, they, they got the one game, and uh, uh, Somniac was like, no, this is awful. <laughs> I don't want to do with this game. And our desire to keep playing Call of Duty. I, w- I just want everyone to remember that. that don't, don't, don't just take everything at face value. Phil Spencer, a million legal agreements. A million different lawyers probably read this and said to change a lot of things. Our desire to keep Call of Duty in place. First off, this also points him in a good light. If it ever comes out that Call of Duty isn't on PlayStation, he can go back to this and be like, well, I want to. I want to bring it to fun. But, but PlayStation doesn't want to come to agreement. I really think, Alex, call me crazy. I really think this is clearly him saying, I mean, that's we have a desire to bring it. We just need our grease palms a little. Oh, no, yeah. I definitely see they want something in return. They want um, something. Maybe they bring... Um, certain JRPGs. Maybe they get, give you, hey, let us let us bring Game Pass, and you get yeah. all of our first party games, and maybe PlayStation Spartacus comes to us, and we pay maybe. you. Maybe. Uh, you oh, know. yeah. I mean, I'm sure that could see that happening. Like, but I don't. I, I just I don't feel like PlayStation will do it because I feel like they're no. too they're too they're too they're too proud. Uh, well, they're too proud, and also they that I think Sony is just. Well, it's I, we are I'm not gonna, giving you our stuff. <laughs> like well, I think they're very I, clear about that. It, well, you can see I, that with the PC ports right now. They are not. Oh, yeah. They are never going to do day one PC ports. They're also never going to do day one on Project Spartacus, whatever you want to call it. They yeah. they want to sell their premium games at a premium sixty dollars price point every time seventy whatever it's going to be. I Go just ahead. feel like um, I feel like PlayStation is still playing the console war game. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're still be like, yeah, no, we don't. Uh, we want to win. And we want we were gonna make something better than yours, and I just feel like they're still on that train. We've already seen Xbox is just like, bro, we don't care. We're just making our go things go everywhere. We just want our app on things. Yeah, we we I'll just want people curious. to play our stuff. We're not trying to fight you. So I think I I don't know. I'm I'm gonna stick with it, and I feel like PlayStation is still on that train. They're like, yeah, we want to be better, and we we're, we're like just I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Alex, yeah. PSVR 2 was released while we were kind of on our break. Um, so released. Sorry, details were released. I forgot that. Very important caveat. Details were released. I wanted to quickly go over some of them and also what your thoughts are on all this. Um, so PlayStation VR 2 was shown off at CES. That is the name, by the way, PlayStation VR 2. Um, this was their conference at CES this year, and they went over some highlights that I wanted to quickly go over you. Now, this is all directly from their PlayStation blog, so uh, it's going to sound very, very pillow, you know, fluffy. So just keep that in mind. Visual fidelity is one of the uh, 
bracket points that they bring out there. So visual fidelity for a high fidelity visual experience, PSVR two offers 4K HDR 110 degree field of view and faux vetted rendering. With an OLED display, players can expect a display resolution of 2000, uh, 2000 by 2040 per eye and smooth frame rates of 90 to 120 hertz. Headset-based cons- uh, controller tracking. With inside-out tracking, PSVR 2 tracks you and your controller through integrated cameras embedded in the VR headset. Your movements and the direction you look at are reflected in-game without the need of an external camera. New Century features PSVR 2 Sense technology combines eye tracking, headset feedback, 3D audio, and the innovative PSVR 2 Sense controllers, that's the name of the controllers by the way, Sense, to create an incredible deep feeling of immersion. Headset feedback is a new Century feature that applies the sensations of in-game actions from the other player. It creates a by a single built-in <clears throat> motor with vibrations that add an intelligent tactile element, bringing players closer to the gameplay experience. For example, gamers can feel a character's elevated pulse during tense moments, the rush of an object passing close to the character's head, oh, or terrifying. the thrust of a vehicle as the character speeds forward. Additional PS5's Tempest 3D audio tech makes sounds in the player's surroundings come alive, adding a new level of immersion. Eye tracking. With eye tracking, PSVR 2 detects the motion of your eyes. So as a simple look in a specific direction can create an additional input for the game character. This allows players to interact more intuitively in new and lifelike ways, allowing for a heightened emotional response and enhanced expression that provide a new level of realism in gaming. So you're telling me, so instead of having to do this, the Bat- the Batman cow thing, <laughs> I can just move my eyes and it'll move the key- the-, the screen? If like- the game developer wants that, most likely, yes. Eye tracking is very literal. It tra- It is tracking your actual eyeballs. So it's going to know what you're I'm going to start squinting, so that means the screen is going to squint? <laughs> I don't know. They actually might do that. Who knows? But Yeah, that'd be a little weird, isn't it? Alex, I, I threw a lot at you. What, th- what-, what kind of points out at you? Me... That crispy, crispy OLED display is one of the Oh, dude, that yeah, for sure. That's what I mean. I mean, I recently was playing my, my VR, and yeah. I can tell, man, it's not, it's great. not great. Not great. Yeah, so be, ha, being having having a 4K HDR OLED, and the resolution, uh, it's and the frame rates are from 90 to 120. Smooth. I mean, now my question is to you. Yes. <laughs> How much, how, how, much how much change do we need to have in this pocket? How much is this? That's a, that sounds it's real like me, good. It's like, it's like I'm going to go to the gas station and start grab a wad of coins and be like, all right, 45, yeah. 55. All right, like how much? Right? and nickels, okay. All right. Got a it's an old cigarette bud. If you, right. if you smoke, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, this all sounds really cool. Um, to me, uh, I'm glad you had that kind of same response because to me, it's, I just sounds hear, expensive. I just hear ching ching like the, the price just high, go higher and higher like, every time i say like a new thing like ching, like ding, dude ding. i'm scared this is gonna be the same price this might very well be 500 dollars. yeah exactly this might very that's, well be 500 bucks that's a lot of money <laughs> i mean i mean okay mind you out of all this the htc vive is fi- was or, i don't know if it still is 500 dollars. pretty sure it still is and you need a 1200 dollar pc to be able to use it yeah so it's still cheaper than that the only thing that you have to compete with is the quest 2 quest 2 is 300 bucks nothing else need nothing else so hard to compete with that because it's just yeah yeah 300 bucks cool you don't, you, get all these, you don't get all the you don't get all those features no no not even close you don't even i mean you barely get half of them um yeah but so I think they can easily make it at five, but that's terrifying. They can they can sell this thing at five hundred dollars. Now it will be a premium. I think if they My can get worry. it to four hundred, that that is where I think that's the sweet spot. Um, people are saying three hundred. They're smoking crack. This thing no, is not three hundred dollars. This thing is not gonna go under four. No, 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 no. no. I I, I was anything, listening to a thing. Like a I'm, not say, I'm not gonna say who it is, but I was listening to a thing, and they're like, it might be. Like if it's three hundred bucks to compete with the Quest Two, I was like, you guys are smoking crack, yeah. and that is not it, again happening. Again, PlayStation is too proud. They'll be like, yeah, we well, they want to make barely, money. Like, it's yeah, not, I was gonna say we barely popping. broke even with the PS Five. We're yeah, like, technically they're not even making money probably off that thing because of what they have to pay and shipping and all that right now mm-hmm. because of the inflation of the. Well, the thing that worries me stuff. the most 
they still can't make enough PlayStation Five to uh, satisfy people's needs. So if there, let's say there's no. 100 PS Fives in in households, and they make 300 headsets. Those 200 people can't buy a headset even though they want to because no. there's not enough PS5s. I'm going to say this. This is going to be unpopular. Okay. If you really want a PS5, are there that many people who don't have it now? If you really I mean, want, if you were die hard, I need a PS5. I mean, are I, there that I, many people that don't have it right now? Yes, because I feel I'm sure I wouldn't be the only one, but I would not spend a thousand dollars on a PS5 from some poncho over here. Like I really want one. Like I really want one, but I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars. So I'm gonna have to wait till there's some at a local GameStop or retail. But so I mean, I'm sure there is people. I'm, my I know only people point still here. One. My only point with saying that is when do we stop saying like they like. There aren't a lot out there. I'm not saying we should stop doing it now. I'm just curious, like, when is the time that we can finally say, okay, like, people have it now? Because with where I work, I there a lot now has just, come. Well, let's just say, let's just say, out of the Series S, Series X, and the PS5, how how many Series S's have you seen on the shelf? But those like, are usually like, always there. Always there, right? Not okay. Always, but you know, Let's way more than you, you see them. You see them regularly. Yeah. Series X's. Uh, way less. Like every other month, maybe. Same as PS5, okay. basically. And PS5. And see, yeah. I have. So you're, so I, they have to be I haven't regularly seen on shelves. Anytime I go to like Walmart or something like that, or if I see like if I go through Best Buy, everywhere I see, it's always out of stock. There's never a chance. They'd be like, hey, you, if you want one, you can go ahead and get one. There hasn't been that opportunity at all. You have to, like, literally, like, watch it. Like, how uh, I used to see with Pops. Like, you, yeah. like, oh, this comes out literally at midnight. You want it? You got to get it now. Like, I, it's, I feel like they need to hold off on this, in my opinion, and try to make more fives. I know they can't. But, like, now they're going to make more PS4s to counteract us. Like, nobody's going to want a PS4. I see, yeah, like, that, that was weird. I don't understand like, that like, at all. They're like, oh, you want to make more PS4s? So that means you want me to buy a PS4, and as soon as that I buy one, fucking weird. you're going to say that there's PS5s available, but <laughs> I just got a PS4, so you want me to buy both? No. Yeah, that, was, that was really weird. That's a I, waste of resources. Yeah, first yeah off. I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I would love to have someone on to explain to me I, why they did that it's because they just want to keep making money they can't sell ps5 so they have to sell something i mean they're selling ps5s i don't think that's the issue i, I definitely disagree with that they're selling ps5s they can't not sell them the, the 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 issue is i i assume maybe to help with demand or I, I don't know i don't know why they did that it'd be i'd be a, i'd love to talk to someone about that i'd be curious I, I to see know. if vr2 is hindering production of ps5 at all um i don't know i don't know if the chipsets are the same or any of that i don't know if they were like, "Oh, we're gonna make five percent less PS5s to make VR2s." I don't know how that works out. Maybe, the, maybe it doesn't at all. I don't know. Um, I see it happening, but the only thing I could see is if they're like, "Hey, we don't have enough PS5s out yet, so if you don't have a PS5, like, don't worry about spending so much on the VR2 because it's gonna be the, a little less." They'll say, "Be like, hey, it's gonna be four hundred, just so you can." have one so have one ready when you get your ps5 and um, what i'm curious is so this is clear they're not coming out till holiday right for what, uh, vr2 vr2 yeah uh holiday, i don't even think it's coming out this year i think it might it might mm -hmm. is is the I'm, I'm saying that very might come out this year mm -hmm. um apparently it might be hitting production soon uh so if it hits production soon that means it's they're gearing up for a holiday release mm -hmm. now do they release it in holiday knowing that PS5s are going to be in high demand as well again? I don't know. This is a very interesting conversation that I'm just I not think... aware of and I don't know I enough to speak intelligently on. But I will say in I a world the... where you release mm -hmm. VR2 and you have mm -hmm. people that want PS5s, you do have a chance of angering them. I'll be curious to see if, I if feel that like, does anything uh... to, to the people who are trying to buy one. For us, I mean, I feel like it will, but I feel like they're not going to care. 
I feel like that I wouldn't they're, as they're a guy, gonna, if if I was up gonna, there, I wouldn't care if people They're gonna like, look at it and they're like, Hey, there's a thousand PS fives out in the world right now. Yeah. Well, of course there's more, but I'm using that as an example. Small numbers. And, and um they're like we want to sell the VR2 this holiday, and we're going to. People who really want a VR2 or and have a PS5 will buy one for sure, so we're going to sell it no matter what. So people that have PS5s are going to buy one. So no matter what, they are going to sell them. It's not like they're not going to sell. So I think, it, I think if it comes out holiday, let's say, um, no matter what uh, time they say they're going to do it, I think they will do it. They're not going to be like, yeah, no, we're not going to sell them right now because of the demand. I don't think they're going to care about that they demand. I don't care about that. No. I'll, get, no. I'll tell you, everyone right now, that has nothing to do with it. And they're going to be like, oh, people might get mad. I'm looking to make money. It's it's just care. annoying because there's, there's no point, but they don't care. They just want to make the money. I mean, there's, there's more PS5s than PS4s out. That's the only thing I'm like to point out. Uh, I... It should still be the case that there's more PS5s out right now than there were PS4s at that same time when they released. So, I, I, I know that was true last year this time, I think. Um, I'd be curious to see if it's still true. But, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. I, I'm very excited for VR2. Um, I hope it's backwards compatible. I think it will be. Uh, there's no chance it probably isn't. Uh, I want uh, to play all the games I missed out on. Vader Mortar 2, where are you? Vader Mortar 2. Alex. Dude, oh. that was so good. Yeah, yeah, I still haven't played it. So good. Still have not played that. I need to, though. But pretty quick news. Ubisoft Plus is coming to Xbox. Um, if you guys remember this, this was a thing that came out um for like pc you could be could, like play for it. it was on it was kind of on uh what is it called um stadia jesus i forgot what it was called <laughs> it was on stadia kind of in like a channel sense i believe um but they will be adding ubisoft plus as descriptions to xbox at some point we don't know date or time but it's coming um this was also announced alongside rainbow six extraction coming to game pass as well just a quick note i want to bring that up ubisoft plus Eh, if uh, Alex, would you pay for that service? Not separately. I probably wouldn't either. I would just probably wait. Yeah, if if it comes to Game Pass and be like, hey, we're gonna write, we're gonna raise Game Pass five more dollars, then I'll do it. Because yeah, I, I, I'd yeah. Be with that. Yeah, because literally Ubisoft Plus is I think fifteen bucks, and I think there's a seventeen dollar one if you I think for extra stuff. I can't remember what it was, uh, but it's I think it's fifteen bucks a month. And you get all the Ubisoft games plus their season passes, which is pretty cool. So I mean, I if they say, "Hey, five or seven dollars more for Game Pass, and you can get all this," I, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to increase Game Pass because it's going to happen at some, at some point. Oh yeah, I will. I mean, have you seen Netflix? How many times it's gone up? That's that's a that's the strategy to do because no one's ever. Yeah, they're like, "Hey, now we're gonna go up one dollar or two dollars." Yeah, nobody's ever gonna cancel Netflix. No, you're not gonna cancel Netflix. Yeah. Tencent acquired Turtle Rock Studios. Um, that sucks. Oh, here we go. That sucks. Here we go. There's not really much to say. They they did this. I mean, Don't it's barely it it's barely six it. sentences. This fucking announcement. All it says is uh, Turtle Rock. We're part of Tencent. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, cool. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Um, Back for Blood yep. sucked anyways. Who cares? <laughs> Done with that. Alex. Mm. that's the hardcore news for the week now let's quickly get into playstation plus and games with gold um i'm sure games with gold is going to be really good uh because playstation plus is really good this month so uh, all right o only only time will tell let's see mm -hmm. coming to ps plus in february ea sports ufc 4 planet coaster tiny tina's assault on dragon keep a wonderland's one shot adventure achievers this is very confusing um this is the standalone borderlands 2 that DLC that came out with the game as part of their season pass mm -hmm. is a standalone release on PlayStation Plus. That you can this is not the game that we're waiting for. <laughs> Correct. Not. Mm -mm. Now, that being said, Games with Gold, Alex, is mm -hmm. as follows. Broken Sword is February 1st to February 28th. Never Yield is February 16th to March 15th. And your 360 games with gold is Hydrophobia, February 1st to the 15th, and Bugs, February 16th to February 28th. 
I've literally heard none of these games. I before. have not heard of any of these games. I think I've heard of Broken Sword um, before. I think, yeah, maybe maybe Broken Sword, but that's it. Uh, but yeah, uh, this uh, yeah, that that cool. sucks. Cool. Um, you know what? You know what's hilarious? I saw some people saying. Uh, just a quick note, Alex. Before I forget, because I will forget this. I Go saw ahead, some like, people saying, "Just cancel games with gold and like make, like, and try to make justify go- uh, gold being like free or something." I was like, I don't know if that's how it works, but um, yeah, th- this is pretty rough. Th- this is like pre- this is pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean. <laughs> At this point, you should just, it's, it's weird because it's like, you need games with gold to be, do you need games of gold to be able to play these games? I always forget. You have to have an active gold membership to play yeah. games with gold, yes. So why not just add these to Game Pass? Like, instead of being a gold thing anymore, just be like, hey, just add it to Game Pass. I assume it's harder or, I guess harder is the right word. Like, it's, like, just, it's, it's probably cheaper. I don't know. I don't maybe. know. I, I'm it's not going to sound like I know. I, I have like, no idea. I have no idea. The games were like $55 in value. You want to know the gamer score? Oh, and 2400 in yeah. gamer score. Why are they why are they telling me this? I think this to is the first try time to make like... it seem better. I mean, they do it they do it a lot to be fair. Do they? So this, yeah, this isn't the first time. They, when they release this picture, it always has like how much money you'd save and the gamer score you get, which is but I, I really kind of like 20 but... 2400 for four games. So a th- score, th- well, remember the lot. old arcade games for 360 were only 200 for a while. Remember? Those don't look like arcade games. I mean, they definitely look old. Well, no, of course they're old, but they're not. Our arcade games will have the yellow arcade thing on it. These are full titles, I think. Well, no, well, they did take that off after a while. Oh, did they? If I remember correctly, like I, I remembered them not all arcade games having the like yellow the arcade like, thing. Yeah, because they all okay. had kind of like game cases. Um, gotcha. So I believe they're both two hundred because they're old. I mean, if if that's true, they're really old. Um, because mer- if you remember, they doubled the achievement score to four hundred, like halfway through three sixty's lifespan. I think um, it might have mm-hmm. been two thirds of the way through, but they doubled it to four hundred. And then Xbox One, they got rid of that entirely and said everyone can have a thousand. We don't care. Yeah, Hydrophobia has yeah two hundred gamer score. Yeah, so that means these are old. It takes six to eight hours to unlock all the achievements. And then bugs, I think is what that calls. It looks mm. like there's, it looks like game uh, Xbox Live avatars are in the title, so that means this is one of those Xbox Live avatar games. Remember that? Uh, yeah, there was a couple uh, like Xbox Live avatar games that you you would put yeah. your avatar and you'd play the game. Doritos Crash Course is one of those. <laughs> Look, I love that fucking game. That was right? fun. We played that for like way way longer Forever. than we should have. Way longer than we should have. Alex, mm. date updates. Damn, this game takes ten to twelve hours to beat. Oh no! This is a different game, Band of Bugs. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, it, I don't care. It might be Band of Bugs. I I couldn't read the beginning. Two new expansions have been announced for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. These are this is old news. By the time it gets to you, achievers, I just wanted to still bring it up because I'm very excited. So the first one is the crossover story's free DLC that brings Cassandra from Assassin's Creed Odyssey into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Make sure you check that yeah, out. Alex said he so very much enjoyed it, so that's easy achievers proved. Then we have Dawn of Ragnarok. Quote the most Ugh. ambitious uh ac expansion ever end quote march 10th is the release date for this uh expansion includes a new open world map ubisoft says stories about 35 hours long so that means it is a big old expansion i am very mm-hmm. excited for this me and alex will be playing this expect the um for the cast and as such for yes, this as well I, I cannot wait yes i did hear a theory the other day alex what <laughs> do you think of this um assassin's creed's May just center around Cassandra from now on. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, that'd be cool, right? Interesting. Like the rest of the Assassin's Creed games are just Cassandra now, in different settings. It's interesting though because, I mean, hmm. I wonder what they'll do. Like we see her 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 voyage pretty much throughout everything she's doing. That'd be dope, right? Because we finished Valhalla and we saw what happens at the end. So, talking about in the future timeline? Yeah. You know, because, you know... Uh, yes, okay. but... I know I know what you're saying, but, like... Yeah, with Lila. easily, right away, like... We're going to see Cassandra. And also, do we need the future storyline anymore? Just get rid of it. I mean... Just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. I, I mean, kind of we do, the way Valhalla ended. 
Does anyone care? Achievers, comment below. Does anyone really so look at your go in the mirror? Go get up. Walk over to the mirror. Look look yourself in the eyes. Do you really care about the future of the Assassin's Creed storyline? Like the future line Assassin's Creed stories. Do you care at all? I don't. I don't I don't really ever. Usually when I'm not in the the actual game and I'm in the future part, usually when I'm not having fun. <laughs> usually i'm just reading garbage story and it's like okay this is kind of cool sometimes and other times it's like all right cool whatever mm -hmm. the coolest one by far though has been valhalla i'll give you that but still still not good though i just wonder what they're gonna do because with the way it ended i mean is the can it continue with that character you definitely can. Why couldn't you? Uh, we can't talk about it now. We, we will have a spoiler yeah. cast with this, and we'll talk about yes, it, yeah, and we'll, we'll go spoilery. Yeah. I, Alex, I think you're confused on what I'm saying, um, but we will talk about <laughs> we'll it. See. We'll see. We'll see. Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine by Insomniac will be exclusive to PS5. This was announced randomly in like a blog post kind of tweet. tweet. It was super random. I was like, okay, that's, why would you announce it this way? But that's cool. <laughs> Um, and Alex, while we close out the show, I want to quickly bring up this quick Video Games Chronicle that uh, came out while we were kind of doing stuff. Okay. Naughty Dog isn't ruling out making more Uncharted games, developer says. Ahead of their, uh, sorry, uh, Lost Legacy creative director Sean Escagi and game director Kurt Manning whether Naughty Dog could make a new Uncharted game at some point. Quote, I think we can say for certain that we can never say never, said Marganu who also served as lead cinematic animator on Uncharted 4. Yeah, Uncharted is a franchise we love, that the studio loves, I love, and the Unchar and Kurt loves Uncharted 4, the co-lead designer. It's a world we want to see more of, so I can certainly say that. Interesting. Interesting. Just wanted to quickly bring that up. I think there's a Uncharted game already in the works at San Diego. So, mm. I'll leave it at that. Alex. <laughs> Mm. On that note, I'd like to end the show with how I began it. One singular question. What do you have queued up for the week? This can, of course, be a game, a TV show, comic book, a book, some sort of movie, or a video game. Remember, Achievers, this is a question for you as well. What do you have queued up for the weekend? I want to know what you're playing, what you're wanting to play. You can comment below or tweet at us directly or Patreon DM us for a chance to be on the show. Alex, what do you have queued up? Mm. I'm going to finish near. I want to okay. finish the playthroughs. When you say finish. Complete all playthroughs. Yes. Cool. Yes, correct. Not all endings. I don't know what that means. I think all endings, there's like 20 of them. Isn't this the you game that's like straight Let's up see. 20 endings? It's like nonsense many... like that. In near Automata. I'm looking it up. Okay. Uh, there's 20. You're... So near Automata has a total of 26 endings and epilogues. Jesus. The majority of them are silly joke endings that are, are oh. not canon to the main story, while others offer a uh, different perspective of the main story. Okay. That's using yeah. ending loosely. So, anyways, Exactly. Never mind. Completely forget that. So you're going to finish your Oh, here we go. As immense as that sounds, yeah, only five of them are actually relevant to the overall of the story. So there's five endings that, make, that, that matter. Achievers. That's why you never listen to these people. Look, that is why you never it's, it's, listen look, to these people. Look, it's not, I'm not, it's not a spoiler. It's uh, there's three main playthroughs you got to do. I was just, just do I, that. I just I was thinking it's like this isn't a spoiler. This character's dead. <laughs> like I was over. <laughs> It's crazy because it's something I would do. <laughs> Look, it's and not I a spoiler. You, you would know. Main character's dead. Like, just, you just, like, haphazardly say that, like, this character's dead. <laughs> like, just, like, it's not a spoiler. Don't worry. Um, but, uh, yeah, you're going to finish all three playthroughs, etc. Gonna Holy have Jesus. <laughs> What? I found all the endings. <laughs> um, it, it, like, it doesn't tell me. It, t it, just, it doesn't tell me, like, what happens. It just tells me. It's like, hey, ending A is complete the game for your first time. And then it said, like, this, it's no spoilers. Ending B, it says, continue your save file after completing ending A. And then it goes to ending C, D, E, F, G, H, I, all the way to X. So there's just, yeah, it's the alphabet. It's the whole thing. Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm not doing endings in Z. 
Anyways, Alex, anything else you got queued up? Of course, Pokemon Legends is tomorrow. We'll be playing that. Yes. <laughs> Actually. You good? Will it, will, it, will it be tonight at midnight? Or... Uh, I'm pretty sure Nintendo does that. Yeah. Okay, because I was going to say, mine's already 3 we might have to double. We might have to double check. But... Mm, um, it okay. might be, though. Uh, I will be playing Nier and Destiny all day. So that's my plans. Aside from yes, that, Alex, my... I'm... I'm ready to play Pokemon. I'm ready to get into Dying Light 2. I'm ready to play Horizon. Like, I, I'm just, I'm ready. So, I'm trying to clear out everything so I don't have anything else by the time I get to that. Yeah, so, by the way, remember the thing you told me earlier about the macro? Yes. That was ending K. Hey. Yeah, I know. I saw my okay, save so file now. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. things like that. That's why there's 26 of them. But it's, oh, it's fucking, stupid. all right, whatever. That's stupid. Yeah. Anyway. Anything else you have queued up? Mm. I mean, of course, Pokemon, and I will be playing Dying Light. Okay, yeah, so so, so nothing really else, yeah, so Achievers... It's that's... bad because I've played Life is Strange so much, and I'm, like, thinking, I was like, can I beat Life is Strange in three days? You definitely can. I, you, yeah. I, I could beat it in one day, really. I mean, it's not super games long, is what I'm talking about. but you'd have to start, like, at the beginning of the day and, like, mm -hmm. blow through it. And it's an easy thousand. Challenge too. accepted. An easy thousand, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also get before the storm too, so yeah, yeah. This is all. Uh, that's a good okay. day. That's a good couple that's of days. A, that's man. a good day. One through. Honestly, one, I might one, play it with my wife if she wants to check it out. There you go, achievers. Let us mm -hmm. know what you have queued up. Remember, you can support us financially. Patreon.com. Remember, free way. Please like, comment, subscribe. That helps us tremendously. Five star review, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm gonna go play some more near, maybe some more Destiny, even. Until we see you next week, remember, go achieve. Go achieve.